What's up everyone? Welcome to my very humble channel where I like to kind of figure out what's going on with the body. We also talk about things in life. And today we are going to talk about the sardine fasting. I don't know. Have you guys heard of this stuff? Well, let's get into it. Right about now. All right, guys. Okay, we're 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 adding we're at a new spot of desperation. Now, I I didn't even know there was a thing called the egg challenge and the the bacon. I heard the beef butter bacon, but I didn't hear like the egg challenge or the. I mean, these are the dumbest fasting challenges I've ever heard. And again, the hype and getting people all excited to lose weight and get fit as we get older. It's really sad. I think a lot of the clients that I get are so desperate to fix their autoimmunity, their histamine, their weight issues, their thyroid issues, their sleep issues, their skin issues, whatever the issues are. And they'll go online and they'll see the, this hyped trend. Trust me, my people, if you're finding some type of hype trend, you need to run, right? So the new one is called, run with some garlic and a cross. The new one is called a sardine fast, I guess it's called. I think I said challenge, but fast. And um, apparently you eat a bunch of cans of sardines for a couple of days and you're going to get into ketosis. Now, I don't follow Dr. Boz very often because I just think the stuff she says is Mm -mm. She comes up with weird friggin, in my opinion, uh, weird self-made strategies. And um, a lot of people will do these strategies, these theories to try to lose weight or, or get into keto ketosis. And then when that fails, they come to me. I don't follow her. I saw her talk one day about fasting. I was like, no, I can't. I'm, I'm done. Good night. Like I've got nothing against her. I'm just I'm not listening to any of that no that noise. So um, and she could be a lovely person, but anytime someone is trying to deal with their health using a low carbohydrate, ketogenic, um, carnivore strategy or dietary measure to fix the body, the whole fasting thing. Um, nine times out of 10 people rebound, they gain the weight back. They have issues with gluconeogenesis, the blood sugars all over the place. And they start just gutting their, um, immune system and their thyroid and their reproductive hormones and their adrenal system and their sleep and their skin. And, um, so someone had mentioned in my comment section, check out this, sardine fast. So I, I was like, okay, cause I, I just don't watch people anymore. So it's been very, very painful to have to go and watch these things. Then I found this woman online. I'm going to share her video. She seems like a complete sweetheart, absolutely lovely woman. She's just following, uh, somebody else's made up diet, fast garbage, garbled nonsense. So bless her little heart that she's following this awful ideology. Um, I think some of these things just prey on people's desperation to get, get like, get healthy fast. That will never work. You're never going to get healthy fast. Everything's going to take time and you can't have joy without going through some struggle, right? You struggle, you make mistakes, you learn from your mistakes, and then you know now what to do the next time around. Now, uh, I'm going to pull up a video from this woman and uh, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. And the idea itself, it seems hopeful, but I'm going to pick it apart, of course. Let's do that. 
Okay. So, see, this is she's showing a bunch of packs over there of all these sardines. She's got like sardines, and I'm gonna I'm gonna break this down. She's got sardines in oil and in water, and she's got I think she has mackerel as well. And she talks about having sardines for a couple different challenges. And then she goes through her blood sugar and all this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. What am I gonna do with all these sardines? I have 30 cans of sardines here of varying kinds, and I have three cans of wild mackerel. I'm going to incorporate this into the next 72 hours. To be honest, there's enough sardines here to do two or three challenges. I do not think I will, you know, consume all of these uh, in the course of three days. This video today is a little different from my normal videos. I am going to walk you through three days of what happens when you eat sardines for 72 hours and uh, we're going to go through it all. I've got questions and answers. I've got... Okay. So, again, like I said, she seems like an absolute sweetie pie, like just a lovely woman. She's got an earnest energy about her. Um, she is doing the online thing. I mean, I guess we all are. Um, she's got a beautiful little kitchen. She's ready to go to do her channel. The problem is, is that a lot of these people starting up just have a lack of knowledge. They'll jump right into following somebody who has doctor in the front of their name and just start just taking what people say like it's Bible. And it would be fine if that actually worked, but it doesn't. That's why I keep having people come to me like, I tried these strategies, they didn't work, I had massive problems, and how do we fix it? So she, in this video, talks about her blood sugar numbers and her ketone numbers. And the sad thing is, you can have ketogenic numbers by just fasting. But like I said in my fasting video, that doesn't mean you're in ketosis. The moment that she's testing, she's seeing these numbers, which is why, you know, I need to start linking some of these videos that I've done explaining that you could hit numbers and never be in ketosis. You have to know how to test your blood sugar fasted two hours after meals, 20 minutes post-workout. You have to use the blood glucometer to test for um, uh, histamine, and you have to work in conjunction with your uh, ketones, and you can only test your ketones in the morning. And so I don't know when she's testing all these things. Um, sometimes she hits the numbers, the numbers. Sometimes she doesn't. At the end, she goes through that she lost a 1% of body fat, but didn't lose any weight at all. Okay. This should not be your goal is weight loss. Your goal is to be in ketosis, not by eating a bunch of olive oil and water. This woman was never in ketosis. Okay. Sorry. This takes time. This can take three, six months to a year to keep your blood sugar stable and your ketones stable. And doing this stuff for three days is not going to give you, unfortunately, the, um, the, the body that you're looking for, or even if you do this challenge three more times, because the way, what I don't understand is like, well, then why don't you just do this thing? Um, you should do this thing. Let's say, um, I don't know every day, right? Be carnivore, just eat sardines every day since it puts you in ketosis. Why is she just doing this here and there? It's like, there's not a lot of things explained. People will go and do these videos and tell you how great it is. And like, look, look what I lost. Look at the weight I lost. And then like, this is amazing. And then everybody's like, oh my God, I'm going to do it too. And then they fail miserably as time progresses. Because nothing in life is, in, is easy, nor should it be. To become healthy, especially a woman in her age, it takes a lot of work. And I mean gobs and gobs and gobs of work. So let's go into her talking about her numbers. And I want to sort of break down things to you. So right here, she goes into it.
if my Wi-Fi catches up. Okay, that's my baseline. Uh, my blood glucose is high, and I think it's because I ate my dinner three hours later than normal, so late night protein. Hmm. Okay. Sardine can number one of who knows how many, King Oscar. Mmm, very good. Okay, so I'm ready for a meal of sardines. Check out my adorable. I don't want to go more into her video. I, I, it's not really her. I'm not. Um, I'm not roasting her. I'm not. I don't. I, I like. It's just a, a video I found of a woman going through this whole sardine challenge. So, to the left of her, she's got all these cans of sardines. To the right of her, she's like, pour out the water and pour out the the olive oil, and then you can add your own olive oil, and you can add your own apple cider vinegar to make it taste nice, and then you could uh, add tomatoes. Now, I want to talk about the problems of this stupid fast. They call it a sardine fast. Let's get into it. Okay. Number one, if you have hypoglycemia, okay, if you have insulin resistance, if you're hyperglycemic or hypoglycemic, you can have a problem with this challenge. That one. If you have issues with fish because it's super high histamine, guess what? You won't have a problem with this challenge, my people. Um, now, those are the two things that I'm very concerned about. So high histamine, hypoglycemia, this leads into thyroid, adrenal and thyroid issues. Now let's talk about the good part about sardines. Now sardines are great. They're going to have iodine in them. They're going to have omega-3s in them. Um, they're going to have fish proteins, which aren't, are not as good as like beef, for example, but um, they're going to have some fat soluble vitamins in there and vitamin D and they're going to have, um, like I said, omega-3s. Um, let's actually do the breakdown of sardines. So I'm not speaking from my bung. Okay, one second, my people. And like I said before, I'm not trying to roast her. I just think that these, I think it's Dr. Boz. I'm not sure. I think she came up with this. This, not challenge, fasting. Um, one second. Let's see what's going on in sardines. So sardines obviously are made out of protein. Uh, they do have omega-3s, like I said. Uh, they do have vitamin D, like I said. They have B12, uh, selenium, and phosphorus. So sardines are great. And if you eat the fish bones, you got calcium. Okay. They're great. In fact, they should be on a ketogenic diet if you don't have histamine. You don't have a his, fish is very very high histamine, and fish in cans, even worse. You have to consider these things. So someone can go and do a video like this and leave out all of the beef on the plate, right? Just talk about how great it is and not talk about the the possible pot potential issues. Now the severe issues are the hypoglycemia, the severe hypoglycemia, or the hyperglycemia, which then can lead to poor sleep and not making you feel very well. Um, the other secondary issue is histamine. Now, everything else is great because sardines are a ketogenic and a carnivore food. If you don't have hypoglycemia and you don't have a histamine issue, they're a great food to eat. Are they good to do a fast? Uh-uh. Because if you have a borderline issue with regulating your blood sugar, this is going to make things worse. You can't get into ketosis on olive oil. I don't care what ketones present on her glucometer. When you do anything that's for the blood, it's what you're showing in the moment. You need to have consistent blood sugar balance 
and ketone uh, uh, every day. Some days you might have a bad day. Some days you might almost get into a car accident. Blood sugar goes to high heaven. Ketones drop to the ground. But do 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 they rebalance back in the middle again. And that takes months and time. Because she shouldn't be like, oh, I ate a little late, so my blood sugars are high. She shouldn't have to, she should not have to be presenting these high blood sugar numbers because she says she ate uh, protein too late. She also mentions, mentions in this video, missing her electrolytes and eating food late, just all stuff that really are important that you won't hit your goal just by doing these types of things. So let's go into her numbers on her first day, I believe it was. Let's see here. Let me timestamp this. Yeah, this is her day one. She doesn't say what time her ketones are down. Hey, that's my baseline. Uh, my blood glucose is high, and I think it's because I ate my dinner three hours later than normal, so late night protein. Hmm. Okay. Sardine can. Okay, so guys, here's the thing. That looked like, obviously it was dark. That looked like um, her... Uh, Readings were taken at night. That's not when you test your numbers for ketones ever. Let me tell you guys right now. If you're testing your ketones at night, you are wiping your booty with those strips. You only test ketones in the morning fasted. If you're testing at night, I mean, if you're testing in the day, you are registering what you're eating. We want what you're not eating, right? The fat and the fish potentially a little bit of the olive oil, but she is not going to show a, a an objective ketone number until she sleeps all night, bing, wakes up and tests. That's how you do. Now in this, her first day testing, her blood sugar and ketones number numbers did improve a bit, but again, she doesn't put down the times. But that first test, she had the, the glucose of 5.2 and her ketones, I think, were 1.6, I think. 1.6 or 1.8. Those are great ketone numbers that won't be used because when your glucose is that high, the ketones go down your urine into the toilet. The purpose of this video, I, I guess also the total thing she did, 72 hours, 12 cans of sardines. Okay. I don't know who this woman is. God bless her heart. She's got 67,000 subscribers. Okay. Let me see. Let me get out of this. Get to her actually channel. Yeah, she has 201, 200,000, right? And one views, 201,000 views. Uh, two months ago on this video, that's a lot of people who are desperate for help. And she does a Q&A too. And it, I mean, she answers the questions mostly to her own experience, which is, I think is what people should do. They shouldn't like try to give you advice if they don't understand more science behind this kind of stuff. Um, but sardines are, sardines are great food. They are completely approved to on a ketogenic diet, but not just that. You know, not just that. Almost, I'm looking at some of these people's comments that are ketones. Would she say, I did a 12-hour sardine challenge. My ketones were at a 0.9. Too low. Again, now if you go through the comment section and you get more people discussing their numbers, it's you can't go by one. This You never, ever, ever can go by one person's numbers. It's absolutely irrelevant. You don't know the time they... They did their numbers. We don't know anything. We just show, they show you the numbers. Let me see, 12 hour sardine challenge. Ketones were at a 0 0.9, 24 hours. They were, uh, ketones became a 1.8. Now remember you can fast and get your ketones up that way, but that's, that's, you're not in ketosis. Her fasting glucose was an 81. 
So these are all great numbers. This does not mean that this person's in ketosis. So she started, see 12 hours on the sardine challenge and her ketones were at a 0.9. That's 12 hours in. So she must have tested her ketones. Maybe she said 12 hours, 24 hours later that are 1.8. So it looks like she was testing her ketones at night. Again, this is not ketosis at all. Um, she also writes this woman that her, um, let me blow this up so you can see a little bit better that her, um, she took chia seeds, which are super toxic and, and she goes, they're high in omega threes, but they're not DHA EPA. So they are not a good source of omega threes. Forget it. And this is where just learning more is so important for people to understand. Um, okay, here we got one, a slight word of warning to anyone who isn't a diabetic and wanting to do this challenge for more ketone evaluation. I did, I had to stop my challenge today, 48 hours later due to blood sugar dropping too low, hypoglycemia. And must I mention the woman mentions her blood sugar, the one woman making the video that at one of the days her blood sugar was 64, which she was like, oh, I'm quite pleased about that. No, that's hypoglycemia. That's dangerous. So this person who's a diabetic says, let me see, I guess she's, she, did, she didn't say if she was, she just said if you, if you see, warning to anyone who is, isn't diabetic to the challenge. Um, let me see, uh, but I feel irresponsible to continue. My blood sugar at the start of this was 0 .4, uh, 4 .0, and a 4.0 in milligrams per deciliter is around, uh, it's probably 73, I think, around there. I've got to go and really check to double check to make sure. But it's quite, it's in the 70s, it's 4.0. No, I, I'm, yeah, 4, yeah, 4.0. It's in the 70s. And then her blood sugar went down to 2.9, which put her blood sugar, looks like, down into the 40s, 40 milligrams per deciliter, doing this challenge. Okay? My people, be very careful. Yes, this is a Dr. Ba's invention. It's like the priming things. People come up with priming and it's some garbled nonsense people pull out of their bong. Now there's this sardine fast, but I guess she made a challenge out of it, Dr. Ba's. Um, and people think that they're in ketosis. And like I said in the video before, you can absolutely and unequivocally fast and see high ketone numbers that go up and then they drop and you don't use them. Okay. After a while, your blood sugar begins to destabilize. Like you're seeing these comments. I'll link this video of this woman. Uh, blood sugar starts to get too low. People start to have hypoglycemia. They're cranking out ketones, but they're not using them. That's the problem. You can make ketones, not use them. You can hit the numbers. If you're testing your ketones at night, you're going to hit, hit a, in ketosis numbers, those ketones up and they go down into the toilet. The objective time to test your ketones is in the morning, fasted on an empty stomach, and you do that for a week with blood sugar between a 75 and an 83 for a week, and you always hitting those numbers, and you test two hours after a meal, and those numbers are consistent. You do a workout, and those numbers are consistent. Then you know that you're actually getting into ketosis with energy, and you, your sleep must be mic drop. All right, guys, thank you for joining this video. I don't want to do call out videos. This is not a call out video to this woman. It's a call out to this dietary measure of, of doing a sardine fast, which if you actually go through the comment section of that woman's videos, you can see that people have results all over the place. Okay. And so when people think that they're doing well because they step on a scale, they're like, oh my God, you know, and this woman here, um, She's been, probably been doing this ketogenic woman for a while, and you can see, still see, um, with respectfully said, she's still overweight. So don't ever think that you can do a ketogenic diet, put keto in front of your name, and think you're going to get ripped and shredded, right? You're not going to just get ripped and shredded. It doesn't work like that. Um, I'm coming from a world of uh, less metabolic damage than another person trying to do a ketogenic diet, and I made a lot of mistakes in the first couple of years. 
And this is the reason why now, after working with so many clients, that I call out the whole carnivore and keto debacle because keto was super popular, went up, and then it crashed. Almost nobody talks about it now. Now carnivore is the rage. And I want to start over and really educate people how to do these low-carb dietary measures the correct way without developing that hypoglycemia, that thyroid issue, the adrenal issues, chronic dehydration, uh, kidney issues, gout issues, uric acid issues, menstrual cycle issues, testosterone issues. I don't want people to develop high iron issues on these diets because gurus keep hyping things. Now, this woman in this video, she wasn't hyping it. She was just doing a review of her own experience. It was quite lovely. She, you know, she got an A for a, a well done video, but the content inside is very subjective. People don't tell you a whole picture. And if you look at her comment section, you can see all over the board that some people did well, some people did okay, and some people did absolutely horrible on it. But over time, that is where, that's where the test really lies, not in some 72 hour not in three months. It's time. It's discipline. It's getting good sleep, following a circadian rhythm, getting enough night of vitamin D, um, getting away from toxic foods. It's not just about doing a fast or a challenge where you're going to see success. It's like a, it's like a mirage. It's like a fake hype and get you all excited for something that is not actually helping you in the long run. A lot of people did the HCG diet and all these weird South Beach diets. They did all these diets, uh, Atkins diet, and then time goes on and they're completely jacked up in the body. They're completely jacked up in the health. We have to con continue to watch for the quality of our spices with lead in them. We have to look for forever chemicals and the pesticides and our bacon that could be having nitrates and all of these major toxins that can stop your weight loss keep your body super toxic, weaken your gut so you can't absorb the minerals. So I don't care if anybody lose, loses weight on the scale. This is something that you don't measure in a couple days. This is something that you measure over time. If you want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com, not got.com, because that might sound weird, .com. Uh, get ready for my challenge where I go over all three diets. And I'm doing a lot of videos on certain subjects now because I'm doing all the research now. Like I didn't even know what the sardine challenge was, but I've done a, a ketogenic diet for so many years now and work with people who have done all three diets and I've done the carnivore diet myself. But clearly I came from a standard American diet, did a low carb diet prior to doing keto. And I know all of the things that you need to be careful of and the things that, that are amazing. Sardines are great. Don't get me wrong. But even eating 12 cans in three days, if you got hypoglycemia, which are presenting in some of these people's numbers, or histamine, this could wreck you, like destroy your health, all right? You don't have to do a sardine fast. You can do a ketogenic diet, clean out the foods, find out what foods you're high histamine on. If you got hypoglycemia, do not do this challenge. If you got hyperglycemia, do not do this challenge. Uh, yeah, guys, get ready. Um, you can also, my calendar is now completely open if you guys need to book a consultation and we will find out what works best for you and not any of these fasts and egg fast and bacon, beef, butter, bacon, and priming and not pooping and none of this stuff. You know, you have to be careful for your electrolytes. You have to be careful for the amount of fat and the histamine issue and your gut issue and your reproductive issues and your gallbladder. Although with sardines, you don't have to worry about your gallbladder. <laughs> I think that's the one good caveat, right? But you can't live on sardines for the rest of your life. You're going to start to see major, major, major blood sugar issues and then hormone issues. And I'm out. My Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic and my Facebook fan page, fan page is Stephanie the Business Person. I also have a course where I go over this, an online course of $15 a month. You can sign up through stephanieperson.com or book a consultation and talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. And yeah, we will talk. We'll get you right. I'm confident. And I'm out. Peace. Energy. 55. Going on 56. You gotta work hard. Nothing comes easy. Nothing comes easy, my people. Work hard. Discipline and patience.